you have to find out the element of left side with smaller and right side with a greater element i hope you understand the question we have to find out the element which have a smaller element its left side and greater element its right side so in this example the 5 is a element which just followed this property and here the 6 is a element which followed this property okay which having a smaller element at left side and which having a greater element of its right side okay but in case if you have two answer you have to just print a first index wherever you are getting this first element you just return it if you haven't found the answer just return a minus one okay so this is very very important question ask in a cognizant as well as zoho and oyo amazon a lot of companies okay so let's see how we will attempt this and i will make you explain each and every line of this code okay so let's suppose uh, i'm having uh, this array okay so let me create a one array and teaser arr and i'm having this array okay now i'm just creating a one function that is uh, expecting a two thing one is integer length ln equals to arr dot length okay and i have one function that is public static and i am returning an integer from it and it will say find number which followed the type of properties okay and integer arr and integer n okay fine now this is very simple nothing complex you just call this method like s out and you will say okay uh, index okay and here i'm calling this method okay now find i haven't write anything here okay so do not worry about it i will explain each and everything now the main thing the logic how we will proceed it so the first and very basic logic the brute force algorithm you just take out the one element and compare with the each and every element so the complexity of it that is n square okay but i want you to solve this in a complexity that is order of n so how we will solve this so the basic approach we will say like okay my this last element is a like greater element and i will be comparing all the element and storing into the another array and i'm just believing that my first element is a max element okay and i'm comparing this element with the another element and when i found this property then i will comparing the new build uh, array okay so i i know this this is very complex you uh, not get it uh, by just verbally explaining it so let me code it then i will make you explain okay so just look very carefully while i'm coding it so integer and i am saying give me the one array that is the length of uh, integer of my n perfect and I am saying uh, max left because I told you right I want a max so I I told okay I this element I am just considering it a max element and I am say that is minimum from right okay and minimum from right I am just uh, say okay the integer dot max value because I will compare to the last element that's why I intentionally make it as a max value not minimum value that is max value okay now let me run it to the for loop so the for loop says integer i equals to n minus 1 i am running it from the previous okay and i greater than equals to 0 and i minus minus okay because we are traversing backward now if i say if now my array what is my array is a i r okay arr of i is less than minimum right intentionally i just made it minimum right right if you remember it so what i will do i will just say just change my minimum rr and array of i whatever you are having just simple nothing complex right and out of if block i will say whatever the i am making this array of i okay and i am say just 
push it inside whatever you have just take it in maximum value minimum right value okay so whatever you are taking minimum right just push into the res now just come to the next for loop okay this is very important and whole logic is coming here okay integer i equals to 1 you know that right by i am just traversing it to the one because i am comparing i am intentionally saying okay i am comparing this element to this element is it smaller or greater so i have to traverse my index one and i less than n and i plus plus i intentionally say if my array of i is greater than whatever the max left is it say yeah it's greater so i will say max left if equals to the array of i good again one more condition a of i okay arr of i less than my res of i plus 1 so why i plus 1 you can ask me instantly actually by i plus 1 right so let me give you the explanation here you what are you checking your current aii like arr of i greater than max element right you are saying your 0 and your this element is greater or not just i want to follow my property what my question says smaller and right side greater so if you are checking greater element it's obvious property that left side should be the smaller so that's why i say like okay is it greater so come inside and change the value of max left okay now i'm checking to the next element and here i'm saying is less than because when i am just forming this array i need to check is it less than because i need to follow this property right like right side of it greater so automatically the element become a smaller and if it you haven't found it then return a minus one so let me run this code and i will make you explain once again okay so i am expecting the answer 4 my index 6 is 4 so index is 4 okay so now let me make you explain again so in this case whenever you are just running this for okay so wh what are you doing you are just comparing your this max to your 9 okay again you says okay you change this max now max become 9 okay is any element is less than 9 you again got 7 7 less than 10 no sorry your 10 less than 7 no your 8 less than 7 no so you instead of putting these values you are put 7 7 7 okay and again you got 6 3 4 1 okay and 5 less than 1 no so again put 1 okay so let me make you explain by debugging point so it will be very uh, easy to get it right but the debugging point is so now look at the code so you got it here what is the value is 9 right n equals to 9 i equals to 8 right because and here i am just traversing this so you got it first look at the debuggers at here okay your res this array now you will getting 9 okay again you will get 7 again you will get 7 now you will get 7 now you will get 6 now you here look at here okay 6 and 3 is less than 6 right now again you will get 3 now 4 is not less than 3 right again you will get 3 now 1 1 is less than 3 right you will get 1 and 5 less than 1 no you will get 5 so this is your res array at if look here where is my mouse is this is your res array intentionally we are making like this okay now come to the next for loop in for loop we are checking my this 1 is greater than 5 no this is not greater than now 4 is greater than 5 no this is not 6 is greater than 5 yeah come inside and change the value of minimum so it is 6 now again check your 6 array of 6 less than of your i plus 1 of your result so i plus 1 you are at 4 you are checking at 5 so this is a perfect element because we pair it likewise right so come and return the index that is 4 i hope you understand this if you have any question related to this question just comment it down i am happy to give your answers okay if you have something for me uh, just comment it down i am happy to help or make a video on that topic till then take care bye bye happy coding i will see you in the next video